He gave them the water of wisdom to drink. It will be made strong in them and will not be moved. I will raise them up forever. Alleluia. Today, Tuesday, in the Easter octave, the Holy Mass is offered for the intentions of Jim Harforth and the repose of the soul of Joyce Harforth, who died recently. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us pastoral remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that, possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter spoke to the Jews. The whole house of Israel can be certain that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Hearing this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the Apostles, What must we do, brothers? You must repent, Peter answered. And every one of you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise that was made is for you and your children, and for all those who are far away, for all those whom the Lord our God will call to himself. He spoke to them for a long time, using many arguments and he urged them, save yourselves from this perverse generation. They were convinced by his arguments, and they accepted what he said, and were baptized. That very day, about 3,000 were added to their number. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right and fills the earth with his love. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Alleluia, alleluia. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. 
Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Mary stayed outside near the tomb weeping. Then still weeping, she stooped to look inside and saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been, one at the head, the other at the feet. They said, Woman, why are you weeping? They have taken my Lord away, she replied, and I do not know where they have put him. As she said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, though she did not recognize him. Jesus said, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go and remove him. Jesus said, Mary. She knew him then, and she said to him in Hebrew, Rabunai, which means master. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go and find the brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. So Mary of Magdala went and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord, and that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On each of these days of the Easter octave, the Easter week, we're given a, a very touching and beautiful account, a different one each day, from each of the evangelists, of our Lord's resurrection. So we know not only by faith, but also by eyewitnesses that Jesus rose from the dead. This is very important, because the whole of the new order that Jesus came to establish depends on this fact. It is a truth. If it were not true, then we wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be here today. No one would have ever given their lives for it, beginning with the apostles. And of course, down through the centuries of mankind, there have been all sorts of different theories about life after death, what happens when we die. Every religion, every philosophy has got its own particular belief about what happens post-death. And every religion makes claims about their founders. In the Christian religion, in the true faith, we have a founder who not only taught and claimed something important, for sure, but also did something which has altered our existence permanently. We believe in Jesus Christ, our Lord who came back from the dead and told us that there is a new life that eternal life and eternal death exist. And that if we are part of him through baptism, if we are incorporated and grafted onto him and therefore part of his body on earth, the church, then we will live forever. And one day too, like Mary Magdalene, we will be able to contemplate that sacred humanity of Jesus. But in the meantime, we have to constantly foster that desire of seeing him Through that veil which separates us, that thin veil that separates us here on earth. In heaven we shall see Jesus as he is, without the imperfections of our sight. Because it will be a meeting with someone that we know and who knows us, because we have already familiarized ourselves with him in so many ways through prayer, and above all in the encounter with him in the Eucharistic sacrifice. This is something that Saint Pope Paul VI spoke about profoundly when he wrote his Credo of the People of God in 1967. 
He says, the unique and indivisible existence of Christ the Lord, whereby he lives in the glory of heaven, is not multiplied by the sacrament, but rendered present in every place on earth where the Eucharistic sacrifice is celebrated. And this same existence remains present after the sacrifice in the most blessed sacrament, which is reserved in the tabernacle, the living heart of our churches. He goes on. It is then our bounden and loving duty to honour and adore the blessed bread, which we see with our eyes, the word incarnate himself, whom we cannot see, but nonetheless, without leaving heaven, is present before us. As well as the example of people like Mary Magdalene, who persevered in that faithfulness to our Lord in all those times of difficulty, we have the help and the comfort of our Blessed Lady in these days. After the death of Jesus and before the resurrection, the fathers of the church say that the entire faith of the church resided in the heart of our Blessed Lady. And because she is such a great comfort to us, I thought it was important to bring her image, the image of Our Lady of Lourdes, into view for this Easter week. So that we can be reminded, as we come to Mass, of our, her patronage here in this, what is a small piece of Lourdes in this corner of Essex. But also to remind us that at every Mass she is there with all of the saints and the angels in adoration. Indeed, in this Easter season... The bells of our church ring out the melody of her special antiphon for this Easter season, whose words remind us that in these days we rejoice with her. Indeed, we kind of applaud her on the resurrection of Jesus, her son, in the prayer, the Regina Chaley, Queen of Heaven, rejoice, for he whom you did merit to bear has risen, as he said. Alleluia. Dear friends, filled with Easter joy, we pray now to the Almighty Father that he will, through the intercession of his beloved Son, hear the petitions we place before him. For the Church, that it may grow in strength in these days of Easter to proclaim in faith and hope the truth of the risen Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the whole world at this time of affliction, that we may truly know the peace Christ brings by his new life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all our brothers and sisters who are suffering, those in our hospitals, those in our care homes, those who are isolated in their homes, that they may feel the presence and the compassion of the risen Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for our parish family, individual families, for all those who live the Christian vocation of marriage, that we may constantly struggle and strive to be faithful to what we have promised and what has been promised to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, who know that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need, hear the desires of those who cry to you and receive the prayers of those who believe in you through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth, and on the Catholic and apostolic faith, remember, Lord, your servant. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory you venerate, especially the glorious, Ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven, to your God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you 
and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension to heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty. So that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, in all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment light and peace. To us also your servants, who though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Machalinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them. Fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion. I wish, Lord, to receive you now with the purity, humility, and devotion with which our most holy mother received you, and with the spirit and fervour of the saints. If you have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above, and where Christ is seated at the right hand of God, mind the things that are above. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Regina Cheni, Lentare, Alleluia. Qui aqua pedo visti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit, sicut dixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis teo, Alleluia. Defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you, we humbly pray. And with our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down into hell Satan and all the wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. 
Our Lady of Goods, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Holy Guardian Angel, 